Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn? In this session we are going to see how to configure YOLO object detection easy way in Raspberry OS Bulsa 64-bit version. Okay. So before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends thank you so much and let's get started. So friends as I told you we are going to configure YOLO object detection easy way in Raspberry OS Bulsa. Okay. So how to do this simply we need to first clone the repository I will mention the link and the repository name is YOLO as you can see YOLO simply go to the code copy the link minimize browser open terminal and we are going to run the command sudo git clone and paste the link and just hit enter it will clone our repository ok Now we have our repository, so we need to first change the owner. So sudo ch own space hyphen capital R pi pi and the folder name is YOLO. That's it. So we have now our repository. CD YOLO LS. So as you can see, we have here install 2.sh and install dot sh. This two bash file will install TensorFlow and CVlib ok so simple what we want to do sudo ch mode 775 and install dot sh install dot sh and install 2 dot sh ok it basically give the full permission for our bash script ok that's it then here it is as you can see we have download dot txt file this file we need to move on our desktop because inside that file we have the tensorflow full version ok means we need to download here tensorflow full version not light version we are going to download tensorflow main version ok so inside this file we have the google drive link and then we can download the tensorflow ok so simply first we need to move the download.txt on our desktop so sudo mv download.txt terminate sudo download.txt ok I forget to mention the where we want to move so sudo mv download.txt we want to move uh, in slash home slash pi and uh, desktop desktop hit enter ok so as you can see we have successfully moved our file now right click text editor and this is what the link copy it copy open browser new tab paste link and just hit enter as you can see this is what the uh, main tensorflow latest version ok simply we need to click on download and it will download the tensorflow package ok download anyway and as you can see our tensorflow package is downloading ok so friends as you can see we have successfully download our tensorflow package now we want to move the package inside the yolo folder so file new tab and run the cd command clear the screen we need to go inside the downloads folder so cd downloads ls and here it is as you can see we have our tensorflow uh, package ok so sudo mv tensorflow hyphen 2.6.0 ok and then cp and then we need to simply press the tab button it will automatic complete the package ok so sudo mv tensorflow package and where we want to move we want to move inside the yolo folder so we have yolo folder inside slash home slash pi and uh, yolo just hit enter now if i go here in yolo as you can see we have successfully moved our tensorflow package inside the yolo folder now we have our for, uh, a package ok so now what we want to do we are going to run our install sh and install 2.sh so sudo dot slash install dot sh and just hit enter it will automatic install all the dependencies all the packages which we need for running the yolo ok so i have already installed all the packages that's why it's it started a fast way okay 
so as you can see we have successfully run our first bash script now second so sudo dot slash install 2 dot sh and just hit enter as you can see here there is a some red line but uh, we need to ignore the error this is not j j error this is basically it says that you have already installed a uh, numpy version which is 1.19.3 okay and uh, it will uninstall the latest version and again it will install so no worry about the this red line just ignore it okay i have already set up all these things it's work perfectly so no worry about the error okay it will work perfectly on raspberry os bulls 64 bit okay so now it's downloading yellow version 3 weights remember one thing friends i have used here a yellow v3 version you can use yellow v4 you can also use yellow v5 version also you can use your own custom weight file i am going to show you how you can do all these things okay but first let's just download our yolo version 3 weights file okay so friends as you can see we have successfully download yolo v3 weights it's 236.52 mb okay so remember one thing it takes time okay so we have successfully download our yolo v3 weights file okay so now what we want to do if i open the file manager and we need to go inside the yolo folder which we have closed okay so inside that as you can see we have coco.names file okay then we have yolo v3 cfg file and the file which we have just downloaded which is the yolo v3 weights again i am going to explain it here you can use any version of yolo you can use yolo v4 v5 okay also you can use your own custom yolo model okay simply so now what we want to do i have already configured the python script so we need to open the main.py in our python sony id okay so simply i am going to minimize the file manager and go to the menu programming and python sony id okay so here it is as you can see i have already opened the main.py how to open it simply you need to go file click on open and then you need to go py and yolo folder then click on main.py and it will open our main.py python file as i told you how many lines we have here as you can see 13 lines only 13 lines code and you will uh, you will get the yolo object detection okay so simple from civilip dot object detection import yolo okay then weights weights is just a variable then we need to mention yolo v3 weights file path right now our yolo v3 weights file inside the yolo folder where we have our main.py so same same file okay same file in same folder so we need to mention yolo v3 weights okay as you can see weights is equal to yolo v3 weights this is what our yolo v3 weights file then config is equal to yolo v3 dot cfg file and labels is equal to we need to mention coco dot names file okay so of course if you configure your own model you need to mention here you your yolo weights uh, file path then your yolo v3 cfg file then your labels means coco dot names file path okay so this is how we can use these three variables which is the weights config and labels okay that's it i hope you all clear now we, we are going to simply read our image with the help of cv2.imreadimg.jpg this is what our image at the image i have already shared with you as you can see this is what our image okay then we need to simply resize our image okay so you can change the size you can change the size i have mentioned 1280960 is height okay then yolo is equal to yolo okay because we import yolo from civilip object detection so this yolo i have we need to use here so yolo is just a variable then yolo is equal to yolo this yolo then inside that we need to pass all these three variables which is the weight 
config and labels as you can see where's config and labels that's it now b box label cons is equal to yellow dot detect underscore objects okay and inside that we need to pass our img which is our image then image one img one is just a variable yellow dot draw b box it will draw the bounding box on the object then we need to pass the img because where we want to draw the bounding box we want to draw the bounding box on our image so we need to pass img variable then b box okay b box variable then label variable then cons variable okay this is how we can use the yolo draw b box okay then simple sv2.im show we need to show our img and sv2.wait key will hold our image that's it over only 13 line codes and we have the most powerful object detection method which is the yolo that's it if i run the code and as you can see this is what our image and inside that image we have person it's detected the person it's detected keyboard person person then as you can see the tv monitor is there let me show you again let's just start the code again with we are going to change the width and height let's make it uh, 640 and let's say 460 okay again save the code if i run the code initializing yolo and as you can see it's detected the person the keyboard person the tv monitor okay as you can see so how many lines we have in our code in our python file we have only 13 lines code and we basically use the most powerful object detection method which is the yolo as i told you you can use yolo version 4 yolo version 5 also you can use your own custom model you need to simply mention the path of the weights for weights variable path of the cfg file for the config file path of the coco.names file for the labels then that's it simple over so this is how friends as i told you you can use a yolo object detection on raspberry os bullseye 64 bit version i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye